It's a cull that has been shrouded in secrecy and executed in the black of night. For two months, marksmen in Somerset and Gloucestershire have been silently reducing badger levels to try and tackle TB infections in cattle. But how successful is their campaign? Both culls have been extended and so far the government department in charge has said absolutely nothing about the independent monitoring it is supposed to receive. In the absence of formal information, our science editor Tom Clark went to North Somerset on the trail of the Cullsmen and their quarry. And a warning, this report does contain not flash photography, but strong language. Right, we've just walked past the area where the set is. Down here in this field is where they might be trapping. It's 5am on a very wet morning in North Somerset. We're being led into the woods by anti-badger cull activists. These are camera shy, self-appointed guardians of Britain's best loved wild mammal. Lights off would be good. For a month, they've played cat and mouse on other people's land in the dark to frustrate the cull. Do you think you've had any success in disrupting the cull? You're not allowed to shoot within range, like 30 metres range of a person. And I think that these shooters have been briefed to make no contact at all. Right. So when we turn up, they bugger off. Oh, I see. Which is, it, it subs them, it sabotages their, effect, their, their, their actions effectively. Dawn's still about half an hour away. We're crouched at the edge of a rain-soaked field about 50 metres from a badger set, looking for any sign of the animals or the men who've been hired to kill them. And so far, absolutely nothing at all. As a very grey dawn comes to this flank of Exmoor, the light allows those on Cull Watch to head into the badger set, where they say cage traps have been recently sighted. Yeah, fresh claw marks all along the sides. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's good to see them still in use. Signs of badgers, but not culling. As we leave, though, a person the activists say is a member of a cull team is watching them. Even though they're the ones on private land without permission, they give chase. The man doesn't stick around. We'll be following for laughs because he was definitely looking for us, but that might land us in more trouble than it's worth. Before dawn the next day, we're out again to meet another pair of activists. They argue just by being in the cull zone, they're preventing the cull from happening. Recently, the tactic, though, has been when they see you, pretty much they disappear. Pretty much all the time, yeah. I mean, that's been the case. So they're not very happy about that, but, yeah. And do you think that means you're winning? You're disrupting their cull? You're putting I think, pressure on I think the numbers bear that out. The free shooting has been... We've just tore the free shooting to shreds. It just doesn't work, and with us around, it makes it impossible. That may be true, but at the time we filmed this, farmers in Somerset only had to kill another 165 badgers to meet the minimum needed to call the cull a success. It's believed they're now favouring the trapping and shooting of badgers. But even these die-hard opponents admit it's nigh on impossible to spy on the tactics being used. To a large degree, this has been happening completely invisibly. Yeah, 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 it was pitch black, you know, it's all going on in, in, in the pitch black. Yeah, we've got high-powered um, night vision goggles, but you're still looking, really, for a guy. You're not, you can't kind of take in, there's a guy, there's a badger, there's a gun. You can't mm -hmm. see all of that in, in one shot so mm -hmm. yeah no it, it is a very secretive uh, thing and in the absence of evidence there's suspicion we come across two men with high-powered rifles one explains to me he's there to control deer in an adjacent wood i'm, I'm a deer stalker unfortunately i'm not after yes oh, fight, fight. immediately the activists challenge them and suggest they're covert badger colors the men try to assuage their doubt without success i'm trying to be helpful to you guys if you don't want to take any information from me then don't but I subsequently spoke to the owner of the wood who confirmed the men were indeed controlling deer in an area exempt from badger culling. Later we did come across vehicles that may have been involved in the cull. Their occupants certainly didn't want to discuss it. But not one piece of evidence of a dead badger nor the tools being used to kill them. One thing that's become clear having spent 48 hours here in the cull zone and that's that the cull operators are employing exactly the same tactics as the badgers they're here to kill. The first sign of human interference, they disappear, they go to ground, avoid all contact. When we put questions to the NFU or local farmers, they decline to comment. That's why this has been an almost entirely secret cull, and that suits the farmers and the ministers who gave it the go-ahead.
Secrecy has allowed the cull to proceed, but the lack of transparency is also undermining confidence in the scientific justification for killing badgers in the first place.